Well, hidey ho, neighbors. I'm out here at the low site looking at craftsman stuff. And I think like most of you, it seems like this stuff is kind of expensive. This isn't Milwaukee right here. This is Craftsman. Like a lot of you, I feel a little bit disappointed. I mean, Lowe's is pushing cobalt out and they're going to the the wall with this Craftsman stuff like these walkie-talkies here for $50. The prices are kind of high, it seems like. So I was curious as whether or not there's an alternative to that. Wanted to take a second before we get started to let everyone know that there will be links in the comments below to everything that you're about to see here. And stick around or at the very least click through because at the end I'm going to be giving you three tips about why you should be buying these Craftsman items at Sears besides the low price. So check that out. Well, I went to Sears first because, believe it or not, for you youngsters, Sears was the original Craftsman store. And I was really surprised to find a few things on their site. We'll get to those highlights later, but I had four things here that I wanted to show you, not the least of which, number one, is this socket set right here. Now this is their 200 piece Easy Read socket set for Easy Read. Let's see if we can see it. They've got this etched, acid etched uh, read on them. So you can't really see it very good, but you'll know what I mean if you've seen them before. Now this is a really good selection of, of half inch, three eighths inch, quarter inch sockets. You have standard sockets and deep sockets, and I'm not going to get into a whole lot of that. And even most of the stuff I do, it's not going to be apples for apples or even apples for oranges. It's just kind of example so that you can see, maybe you'll be as surprised at Sears as what I was. Now they want $299.99 for this. This is the same set on Amazon, $339.90. Now this price changes a little bit every day. It was 343 the other day when I was out here just a couple of days ago. So. The Sears one seems to stay the same. And I, I know what you're thinking, you know, well, it's 40 bucks, but stick around to the end and watch some of the other examples. And you'll see that it's it's more than just a few, few bucks. So stick around and we'll show you number two. The next thing I wanted to show you was down a little bit further. And this was kind of a mini tool set here. It's this Craftsman 42 piece bit and torque bit socket wrench set. Now just follow me here for a minute and you'll see where I'm going. Now this is a 3 8 inch drive and some of these are quarter inch drive and there's adapter with it. And they're the really good quality 3 8 inch drive bits. You've got your standard, you've got your Phillips, you've got Torx bits, you've got Allen bits, you've got reverse Torx bits, reverse Torx drive in these sockets here. I mean, it's just a really nice set, 42 pieces. And look at this great case you get, really super nice blow molded, molded plastic case. 42 piece set, 25 bucks right over here, 25 bucks. But then I went over to Lowe's and oh my gosh, $68.98 for a 42 piece set. It's similar. The only difference, it looks to me, it doesn't have the ratchet extension or the 3 eighths to quarter inch adapter, but it's still 3 eighths and quarter inch sockets. You've got you know, standard screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, 
you got torques, you got reverse torque socket, everything else looks the same. But apparently, you get three more sockets instead of the ratchet extension and adapter, and they cost you almost, you know, at least $15 more, $68.98 compared to $25. What are they thinking with their iteration of Craftsman? It's still going to be lifetime warranty on hand tools, isn't it? I don't know. You tell me. Now, what I was kind of comparing this to, again, not apples for apples or even apples for oranges, was this really handy little set that I got from Lowe's. And this is a cobalt set. They want 20 bucks for it. And even at 20 bucks, it's worth every penny of it. I've had three of these over the years. I've used them for everything. It's like my go-to mini tool set. The one issue I have with it, the one problem I have with it is not the tools, but it's this really crummy case. These hinges snap right off. And they'll exchange it even for a broken case. But who knows with them pushing cobalt out. Now, Redbeard over at the Den of Tools was talking about a similar set like this that Gear Wrench makes, and sure enough, you can find that over at Home Depot. They want 1706. I'm not going to bother bringing up Amazon's because they want the exact same thing. Amazon has Prime. You can get it shipped for free. The problem, well, first of all, this this set here is I don't it's 35 pieces too, uh, but this set here is like the old set of the the cobalt I showed you before. I mean, this case with the little curve in it, it's very distinct. It's it's just like what the cobalt set that I showed you before used used to be like. So the one thing I really liked about this cobalt set that I want to show you here, let me see if this will let us zoom in on it. It will is you see these safety torques where it's got a kind of hollow in the center so you can get out those, I think they're, you know, what I've seen them on is license plate screws. There might be other things that they use them for. Now, this Craftsman isn't going to have that, but let's get back to the point here. 1706 and, and 1998, 20 bucks versus this Craftsman with the nice blow molded case that's not going to fall apart on you. And look at the price, 25 bucks for this thing. It's more expensive. Well, yeah, it's more expensive. But you know what? You get a Craftsman ratchet with it and an extension. And these are going to hold up like crazy, these sockets, compared to those little bitty ones. And this will be, definitely be the replacement for my cobalt set. I can tell you that right now because the the case gets broken and you start losing those little bits. You're not going to lose that thing for sure. So that is my number two item is the Craftsman 42 piece bit and Torx bit socket wrench set. All of the links to these and the comparisons are going to be below. So check it out. Next thing I wanted to talk to you about a little bit further down, it's going to be this Craftsman three-piece floor jack set. And it's funny, you know, when it comes to these sets here, if they put a flashlight in there, they count it. But here they give you two jack stands and it's one piece. Go figure that. Anyway, this jack stand set, you know, three-ton jack, floor jack, three-ton jack stands, and a creeper all in one package for $109.99. $109.99. Now, I did compare this to the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Jack that's regularly $89, and sometimes I think they have a coupon where you can get it for $79. It's the same extension height. And it weighs about the same. I think this one is like 75 pounds and the Harbor Freight one is, weighs 70 pounds. Now the Harbor Freight one has the 
three or four pumps supposedly and it's fully extended. So this said, this Craftsman one said nothing about that. But you do get all three pieces together compared to the Harbor Freight. This is the Pittsburgh, $89.99. And it's the rapid pump, it even says so. And everybody loves this jack, so. Here are their jack stands that I was comparing to at $23.99. They are three ton jack stands like the Craftsman. And here's their 250 pound capacity creeper. I know you guys are thinking, uh, you know, well, yeah, you know, they have this one creeper here for 20 bucks regularly. It's like 300 pounds and it's really super nice. Don't get me wrong. It's low profile. It's got these little trays in it for tools and stuff. So you don't, you know, have them on the ground and end up with them underneath if you're looking for them, you know, contoured the body, that type of thing. And I'm pretty sure that you regularly see this on sale for about 20 bucks. So to be fair, what I did was I put all these items together and I added them up. And even with a 20% discount saying that there's a full moon and the perfect circumstances arise that you can use the right combination of coupons on any given number of visits or whatever and get 20% off, it's still going to be like $115. One stop, $109.99. So that is the third thing I wanted to show you, the Craftsman Floor Jack, Jack Stands, and Creeper. And finally, the last thing I wanted to show you, remember this, would be the Craftsman Speed Lock 300-piece drill bit accessory set. 30 bucks, $29.99. I just wanted to zoom in and give you guys a look at everything you get. This huge nut driver assortment, a few spade bits, three different ki time, kinds of drill bits, including masonry. You have bit depth stop. And look at all these Allen wrenches. Who doesn't need more of those? I don't know why these guys always insist on upping the numbers of their toolkits by putting in a bunch of stupid Allen wrench sets. If you guys are out there listening and you're in charge of this, quit doing that. We're not interested. But you do get a huge assortment of one inch and two inch bits. And again, a very nice blow molded plastic case. And this one has metal lat latches on it. They may be great plastic or something but they still seem like they're pretty nice it's a pretty nice case compared to remember the holiday deals at the big box guys look at this ryobi set 20 bucks right you get these four flimsy little cases And, you know, they break, you lose the bits, you lose the pieces, whatever. There are no paddle bits here. Now, Ryobi does have a $30 set, $29 and change, like that Craftsman one. It does come in one case, and it has, I think, four paddle bits. But it still doesn't have nearly the assortment of nut, nut setters, um, one-inch bits, and two-inch bits. But it is a little bit better than this for the the... 29 bucks for sure. Lowe's version of it. Here we go. $24.98 for the DeWalt. And again, four cases. Now, I have some of the DeWalt bits, and I've had many of them. The, the cases are going to hold up pretty good. Haven't had a problem with them. And I have not searched and seen if there's a bigger one. But still, 25 bucks. So, you know, a few dollars more and you're back at this Sears Craftsman. Not Lowe's Craftsman. It's Sears Craftsman for 
$1.99. Just for you guys who really have a lot of money to throw away, look at this uh, Amazon one. Like $48.95, almost $50. But it's Prime, so you get it shipped for free for the exact same thing that's $29 and change over at Sears. They've got this. Now, I saw this too. Remember I told you to watch that one set, this little $15 set? That's, that's this set right here. And then they have the ultimate screwdriver bit set from Craftsman as well. So a three-piece Craftsman set, $101. Folks, this is less than $50 at Sears. They sell all three pieces, and they're less than $50 compared to this. So there you have it. That is your Sears Craftsman tour. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with them. They're not too bad at all. Well, if you made it to the end... I wanted to make three points about Sears that I found out that I did not know and you probably did not know it either. Number one is that Sears has a money points back. Look at these two items here, for example, all the three of these items here. On the $299 tool set we were looking at, it's $17.50. So, my point is that this is going to go a long ways towards paying your taxes on these items that I showed you. Point number two that I wanted to let you know about is shipping. You can have anything shipped to your Sears store for free, providing you have one near you, like I do. If it's an item that's 60 pounds or greater, they'll ship it for free anyway. So you're probably going to get free shipping or have a choice, at least, of free shipping. The third point I wanted to make is that on this Sears Marketplace website, you have layaway. So you can make four payments on any of these items, and it's yours. You don't have to go through a credit check, have a credit card, and they'll even send you a little uh, uh, reminders on your cell phone when there's a payment due and there's no interest. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little Sears Craftsman walkthrough. If you enjoy the content that you see, don't forget to like, share with friends, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on that bell notification icon so that you can get notices of when I have new content up for you to see. And go check out some of this really cool craftsman stuff 